everyone. Hello. Nice to see you. Or not see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> we have a special class today. Um, Elisa and I are together for uh, today's recorded class. So we're very excited to get to move together in the same space for this dance, dancing time. Exactly. So we'll be on the same screen. And uh, yeah, next next week we'll we'll probably be back on different screens again, and hopefully we'll see some of you in person. Um, yeah, and for any of you who haven't met us yet, my name is Elisa. My name is Blair. Yeah, and we're gonna do a little dancing and stretching and kind of sinking in and breathing and some mindfulness today. Yeah, so thanks for tuning in today. And yeah. I guess we'll just say that as always, you're always welcome to do whatever feels best for your body. What we're offering is just a suggestion. And at the end of the day, it's about listening to what feels best for you. So take what works for you and leave the rest. Um, it's about what feels good for yourself and finding um, those moments of awareness in the body to follow with. Exactly. So I'll be showing a variety of different variations. So if Claire and I are doing different things, feel free to choose to follow one of us or um, pick your own movements and just go with the flow and do your own thing. So whatever works for you is fine. And um, yeah, we look forward to moving with you today. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get moving. Some water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so feel free to drink some water if you want some. I have some here too. Hydrate throughout. Mm. Usually we start out with um, a bit of mindfulness um, and sinking in. So I would invite you um, today, Claire and I, we tend to start in chairs so you can Start in a seated position, but if you if you prefer to stand, that's also okay. Um, if you can find your feet rooted on the floor, sometimes that's helpful, and um, your sit bones grounded into the chair, a nice long spine. And if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes or have a soft gaze. And just take a few moments to sink inwards and to notice how you're feeling today. So you might want to sink back a bit into your back body. Now we have a tendency to, to be moving forwards a lot in our day-to-day -day life, especially with screens. So feel the back of your body. Breathe into this back space. And feel the 360 degree-ness <laughs> of your whole self. Maybe you're noticing um, a bit of movement in your body as you breathe. Uh, there could be a rising and falling of your chest, um, a movement of your belly in and out, of the ribs out to the sides or the back. So noticing any movement you feel, and if you don't feel any movement, that's okay as well. And noticing any sensations that arise. So perhaps there's feelings of constriction or tension in your body. So you can notice these and there's no need to change them. Uh, sometimes it's helpful to breathe a bit into these spaces. Feeling the fullness of that breath and then releasing out, maybe an out breath through your mouth could be helpful. Allowing yourself to release that full breath. And alternatively, you might feel um, a different sensation in your body. Maybe you feel a feeling of fullness or lightness. So noticing these spaces in your body as well and acknowledging them. And again, if you don't feel them, that's okay. And each week we take a moment to 
Um, scan through our body sensations from the head to the toes. So I invite you to join us in this body scan. So starting at the crown of the head, you can notice any sensations you feel along this, this top space. And following that along the front of your, your head, so your face, your forehead, your eyes, your cheekbones, your jaw, letting your jaw hang open, releasing any of this tension, and equally noticing the, the back of your head space, your neck, and going into your shoulders, all the way down along each arm. And noticing how this breath can come all the way from the top of your head down along your shoulders into each arm. Feeling your hands and your fingers, wiggling them a little if you need to. And following the sensations along your throat, your chest, your collarbones. Again, remembering to breathe. Sighing out words if this helps. Following the sensations along your whole abdomen. So you're feeling your, your ribs and your belly and the whole back of your body along the whole of the spine all the way down to your sit bones and feeling the chair holding your weight. If you're standing, you're feeling the weight going into your feet and noticing the breath going into your hips and your pelvis. And then again, all the way down along each leg and grounding into the floor through your feet. And breathing in and out, taking a moment to feel your body as a whole. And if it helps to bring any small movements at this moment, and go right ahead. I see that Claire is bringing a bit of a swaying motion. Perhaps, I don't know what she's feeling, but I'm imagining she might be feeling a bit of movement in her spine or that sort of movement. And when you feel ready, you can blink your eyes open, not looking at the screen too soon and noticing the space that you're in. So noticing the lighting, any colors or textures, any sounds, noticing um, any animals or humans you might share the space with. Hello, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hello, Rhapsody. Hello, Rhapsody. We have a cat on the floor with us. Maybe you want to see her too. There she is. <laughs> Our live audience. Yeah. And I'm going to take a moment to stretch. So again, moving in any way that feels good. It might feel good to take a bit of a stretch, almost like how you would move in the morning. You could sigh. You can yawn. Waking up the body. Moving in whatever way it feels it needs today, working out all those little kinks. And again, bringing in that oxygen, so nice deep breaths. You can sigh if that feels good. <sighs> good. And I'm going to pass things to Claire to lead us to the next session section of this class. I'm going to bring my hands together and create some heat. And I'm going to show a touch option of a little joint uh, energizing. And Lisa, there's the alternatives next to me here. I'm going to bring my hands up to my face and just wash away any tension I'm holding in the face. Just bringing that awareness along the jaw, around the eyes, the occipital bones, 
back of the neck and the head. Go along the skull. I'm just bringing awareness to all these joints that connect the body into our whole. We're going to bring this down the neck and into the shoulders. Just using touch to raise awareness and bring increased blood flow around the shoulder joint. I'm just doing circles. Melissa has some great stretching options there on the neck that can also bring sensational awareness to this area of the body. And I'm just doing both sides, rubbing in the shoulders bringing my hands and pulling from the back to the front, that awareness of the back space that Elisa mentioned earlier is so important to pay attention and bring a little bit of loving kindness there as well. And then moving into the clavicle, collarbone area, and along the sternum. Some shoulder rolls and opening closing that Elise is doing is a really great option here as well. Then bringing this down into the rib cage, just waking up the sensations in the ribs as well as in the spine and the ribs of the back space. Using either the fists, rubbing along each side, or motions of spinal flexion and contraction. Bringing this down, I'm going to work along the hips and into the legs, bringing this awakening right along the outer side of each hip and into the thighs and along the knee joints on both sides and flexion extension of the knees is another great option. And then either leaving the feet on the ground or picking one up, I'm going to do along the shin and the foot. And just bringing that out on the foot. And on the other side, we're just finding motion. And all the way out the foot. Great. And then I'm going to come back to these joints that we just did a quick little warm up with. Now taking a little bit more time to find movement, starting from the head down. So just explore some motion in the joints that feels good in your own body. So for me, that's beginning with some neck rolls. Just finding some motion. Allowing my nose to paint little circles in the space. This could also look like looking back and forth. Yes is a nose. How does it feel in a standing position if you want to be standing? And then bringing this into the shoulders, finding some shoulder rolls, forward or backward, one at a time or all together. Squeezing the shoulders up and releasing them. Lisa's got a great option using the point of the elbows to make circles in the space. And then finding this into the spine and the rib cage through any motion that feels good in your body. Today, for mine, it's doing extensions, contractions, and circles. You see Elise has got some great releases and rolls. Oh, I'm just feeling the movement of the joints from the head all the way down. Now into the hips. What does it feel like to explore the movement of the joints and the hip joint? When you're seated, there's some great options of just moving the leg side to side. The standing, you can play around with little circular motions. Just waking up this area of the body. You can also work with tilting the pelvis. 
on the chair and stand as well. Just finding different explorations in space. And then moving this down into the knee joints, and finding some movements that feel good in your joints. And maybe that's smaller, maybe that looks just like a micro bend and release in the knees. And maybe it's big and looks like full extensions and flexions of the knee. What feels best for you today? I think for me, it feels really good to bend my knees fully and then fully extend them. And then we're gonna move this down into the feet and the ankle joints and just exploring the motions in those joints there. And this can be done seated. This can be done using touch if that's preferred. Creating motion, standing, there's tons of options to explore the motion of the feet and the ankles. Well, this has got some great options there with flexing of the toes onto the ball of the foot. Just exploring. And then I invite us here to bring it all together and just take a moment for yourself to connect all the movements to the joints as you would like and just free move in your space, either focusing on a favorite joint that you liked, a joint that you don't often think about, or all of them together. <sighs> what does it feel like to breathe into the joint movement? And I'm gonna pass it over to Elisa. My moves <laughs> to guide us further. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm standing. Um, really enjoying this free movement that Claire has suggested. This might feel a little odd for anyone who's not used to moving in this way. Um, it might help to think about maybe not the shapes you're making, but filling the space with your body or painting the space. You know, maybe you have um, little pieces of pastel or charcoal or paint brushes along your, your wrists or your knees or wherever you want. So maybe it's more about filling the space. That can be a suggestion. But again, it's if you think of it as a bit of a stretch, that can help as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming into this free movement. I'm just gonna propose a bit of a bit of a flow. So breathing in to reach up, whatever way that feels good for you. Your arms can still be by your side or in front. And exhaling to fold over the legs. So you can do this in a chair too. Bring all the air out. And if you can let your head go and shake it a bit, yes and no. <sighs> this can feel really nice. And if you're standing, you can have your knees quite bent. Okay, and then rolling up through the spine, we're gonna do the same thing again. So inhaling. And exhaling to roll forward. Sometimes it's nice to hold the elbows and swing a little side to side. This is a great option. <sighs> Letting yourself hang over your legs. And again, your knees can be as bent as they need to be. And then rolling up, we're gonna notice each vertebrae slowly unraveling and letting the hang hang. The head hang nice and heavy. Hmm. And then feeling yourself in this extended position, either seated or standing, feeling nice and tall and grounded through the feet. Feeling that strength of that stillness. Hmm. But we're still with some ease. I'm going to invite you to transfer the weight onto one leg. 
and you can lift it if this is accessible to you. Just playing with your balance a little. Seeing what it feels like to put the weight into that one leg. You can just have it on the ground as well. And transferring the weight to the other side. We're playing with that balance. And you can step forward and back. And we're just playing with this transfer of weight. And you can start to make it a bit of more of a free form. Let your head go a bit. But again, noticing what it feels like to be um, playing with this balance. And I see Claire is coming to stand. We're going to come to a chair to show a seated option. So if you're seated, the way you can play with your balance, shifting from sit bone to sit bone. And again, equally noticing each foot grounding into the floor. You can notice the weight coming forward and back. So just playing with that a little. And again, you might notice how your body's filling the space. And equally, this feeling of center that's keeping this balance. Breathing into that center and releasing the air into the space. And whenever you feel ready, you can bring yourself to relative stillness and feel the effects of this movement exploration. And take a moment to see the space around you. Remember where you are. And I'm gonna pass things back to Claire. Great, <laughs> so lovely to dance in a space with you, explore the balance of the body in space and the balance of the body in space in relation to other things. So I think on that note, we're gonna go into a little game and we call the name game, but also there's lots that comes from that. Uh, and I think today we'll be able to play a little bit with what's in the space with us after we learn our names. Uh, so the way that this game works is we take turns sharing our name and then a movement that just feels like the right movement for us today, whatever comes to mind, there's no right or wrong answer. And then everyone else uh, repeats the person's name and reflects the movement back. So to give an example, hi everyone, my name is Claire. And today my movement is And then we can say, hi, Claire. And I'm already doing the movement. <laughs> so we can reflect it back in whatever way it works for us. Just the arms, it can also just be your legs. Just got a little bend there. Whatever feels good. Just the torso. <laughs> I feel like a fish on the <laughs> Lovely. All right, so I'll go next. Hello, my name is Elisa. And my movement today will be there's a sound that comes up this time. Hi, Alicia. Sound effects are just as powerful movements of the vocal cords. Maybe sometime we'll do a, a voice based. Uh, Class. Great. So we're going to do this again, but in silence to give you all the opportunity to share your own name and your own movement on your end. Uh, we highly encourage it, even if you were the only uh, person participating in your space, to still voice it out loud and take a moment to acknowledge yourself and your own movement. That can be a pretty good feeling sometimes. So. Here we go, we'll do it silently to give you a chance to find your own movements as well. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's harder to be quiet when you're in the same space. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Hopefully, you all get to take a chance there to have your own movement. Um, so, we're going to do the same format, but yeah, this time we're going to play a little game using what's in the space with us to find a movement that is inspired by an object in the space and then share it with the group. And if you'd like, you can try to guess what the inspirational object was, um, or just find some fun uh, motivation from some objects or some beings in the space that you are in. Elisa, would you like to start this one? Yeah, sure. Um, so I can't help but notice the cat on the floor. <laughs> it's quite inspiring, although she's not moving much. <laughs> so I think my movement will be She's sleeping. Yeah, it's <laughs> inspiring, actually. <laughs> really capture the <laughs> give everyone a nice little view of the sleeping cat. Is, when is that not necessary to see sweet sleeping cats on the other mat? <laughs> She's our class mascot, Rapsy. Okay. Um, I'm going to do that curtain I see. It's twisted any way you'd like. It's finding where to kind of twist. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so we'll do this again. We'll do it silently. And then we'll guess what the object was. But this will also give you all the chance to find your own movement and objects. And just find some movement. All right. Mm. I'll pass it all over to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, won't, I won't watch. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We're in the same space. I like what was going on. Mm. Okay. Ready? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do you know what it was? Was it part of that painting? No, but that makes sense. So there's there's a painting on the wall with lots of lines and water. Uh, no, not that. Not not artwork. A core? The electrical core? Yes. Oh, nice. There are many. <laughs> a pile, yeah. You've got a lot of lamps. Yeah. <laughs> But specifically, it was this one. The oh, white one. Yeah. yeah. Appreciated the pathway. Just to, just for a visual, so no one feels left out. Um, it just looks like a white cord. <laughs> More exciting when it's directly in front of you. <laughs> but it just goes to show that you can create movement out of anything. Yeah. Okay. I'll do a silent discovery. Of those names. Okay. <laughs> we should have rest Rhapsody again. <laughs> They're all Feels very cat like. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> oh, is it the bird? It is. Yeah, okay. This was a piece of art. That one is more worth showing than mine, I would say. Here it is. Beautiful bird on a branch. Thanks for playing that game with me, Lisa. It's very fun to be Yeah, it's, it's, it's very different in the same space because yeah. you can, um, well, it's just easier to guess in a way. <laughs> You're not just trying to imagine what the other person is saying. That's it. Yeah. yeah. 
the benefit of the being visual exploration. And it can also be quite fun when we have no idea what the inspiration is. I hope that you all have a fun time finding stuff in your space to inspire your movement. Yeah, definitely. So perhaps it's time to put on a little music. I don't know what time it is. It's a little peek here. Yeah. Okay, well, we could, yeah, we could do some movement now. And then maybe we can do some yeah. choreography. That, that sounds good. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we could do a little mirroring and then do a little choreo. Yeah, super. Okay, so we're going to put on a song and we're going to play a mirroring game. I feel very close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so we're going to take turns leading the movement and have a dance party. Just a little dance, free dance together. Um, but one of us will be uh, inspiring the movement of the other. However, at any time, feel free to do your own movement. You're welcome to follow along with us or find your own flow and just have fun. Yeah.
Thanks for dancing with us. It's such a such a joy to just dance dance to some music. Let let go. I'm out yeah. of breath. <laughs> Me too, a little bit. It wasn't that active, but somehow it was <laughs> in the arms. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I invite everyone to just take a breath. Grab some water if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Take a moment to just look at the space that you're in, see what's around you. Mm -hmm. Feel your feet planted on the ground. Notice any changes or similarities in the body from the beginning of class. Mm -hmm. And I think. We're gonna move. Let me just check our time. Yeah, we're gonna move into a little bit of choreography. Yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna pass it off to Lisa. <laughs> cool. So we have another song that we're gonna play. Um, I wonder, do we want to come up with a few movements before we play the song? Yes. So maybe we can pull some movements from what we've already explored in class. Sometimes that's a helpful way to come up with choreography. So if you have any, any of your own movements that you've explored today that we haven't been able to see, feel free to pull those out at this moment. Um, I think for us today, uh, what's coming to mind? I'm thinking of, we had this sort of, flick off the water. Yeah, a flick, a flick motion. Yeah, so maybe we can start, do too high, I'll, I'll stand, I'll let Claire do the sitting. So we'll do too high, too medium, and I'm, I'm hitting, I'm flicking my feet too, and too low. Yeah, yeah. And then we can come up maybe to the center, so we can go high, medium, low, medium. Yeah, That's let's great. try it. Let's try it one more time, you know, just to just to get it in. All right, so we're flicking up. One, two, three, medium, and low, and medium. Great. All right, and I'm gonna pass it to Claire for the next movement. <laughs> okay. So I think from our medium flicks. I'm gonna bring in one of our arm circles we were doing. And I'm gonna do two in one direction and two in the other direction. Circle, circle, one way, circle, circle the other way. And maybe uh, then just we'll do two circles, two circles, and then we'll do a little foot wiggle. If you can't see what my feet are doing, Lisa's got a great option. There. It's just moving the feet. Back. I'm still moving the feet, but you might see it in the hips as well. Yeah. Comes all the way up. Okay, so just to repeat what we are adding, we're gonna do two circles to the right, let's say, and then two circles to the left. And then we're gonna do a little twist. Okay, awesome. What's the back I think with? that's a good, that's a good story. Yeah, right. right. here we go. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and up. Forward, forward, down. Down, forward, forward, and circle, circle, okay. other way, yeah, circle, circle, and twist. Awesome. Amazing. Okay. Um, maybe let's add one more with you. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So I'm thinking, what did I do for the chord? <laughs> I'm looking at the chord. <laughs> It was a bit of a like a yeah. something like that. Nice, like, so oh yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. So you got you got the two hands and you're twisting, and then you're going up. Yeah. A side to side to go up. Along the river. Yes, <laughs> along the river. Great. Okay. okay, so let's add that from the start just to get that in the body. Yeah, sounds good. All right, okay, 
today Add to your own, your own do your own timing do your own variations that's it. exactly as we did it exactly so it's good for you exactly and maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll put on the music we'll do it a few times and then maybe we'll let the music run a little longer so yeah. if you want to integrate your own moves there'll be a bit of a chance for that and Claire and I will freestyle yeah Sounds yeah good. okay <laughs> Is a number. Just getting the music going. And in the meantime, you can get yourselves comfortable and here we go. We'll give it a few minutes to get started. <laughs> Like me to the parts to move our gap. I did a little step touch. The snap. This way, just to get the beat in your body.
to do whatever you need to do if you need some water or anything we're going to start to slide down do a bit of stretching tuning inwards you want to take a moment to again stretch your arms up feel your breath root downwards i invite you to take a moment to ground through your feet if you like, you can bring your hands to your chest or one to your chest and into your body. And you can close your eyes, bow your head down, feel the beat of your heart, feel the movement of your breath. And notice any differences you feel uh, from how you felt from the beginning of class. So I feel a little bit more energized. Um, yeah, I feel some joy. And uh, it doesn't need to be a positive change either. I'm just noting the same means differences. And taking a moment to see the space. And you can notice any differences in your space as well. So maybe the, the light has changed. Um, yeah, maybe there's a different sound or a different smell in the room. I'm going to take this moment to come to a seated position. You can do so if you'd like to. Um, yeah, and I think maybe we'll come into a bit of soft massage. I'm feeling like my, my shoulders need a bit of attention. So I'm going to take my hand, squeeze my shoulders a bit. Claire's doing some nice rolls. That's a good non-touch option. And I'm gonna work my way down along my shoulder, um, down into my arm. So I'm squeezing my arm all the way down to the bottom and coming into my hand. I can come back along the bottom as well. And I'm gonna give my hand a little bit of a massage as well. So again, rubbing in whatever way feels good for you. I like to take my thumb, do some circles along this uh, center bit, sort of the arch of the hand, the base of the thumb. Yeah, pulling outwards towards the fingers and you can give a little attention to each finger pulling out. Another great option can be to mobilize these joints. And whenever you're ready, you can move on to the other side. So I'm squeezing my other shoulder. And checking in, noticing if you're breathing, if you're holding any tension in your jaw, or your face. 
trying to stay present with these sensations. And I'm gonna repeat these same sorts of um, motions along the other hand. But again, you can do this in whatever way feels best for you. An opening and closing gesture can be another great option. Wonderful. I'll pass it to Claire so she can continue with a bit of a touch action if she likes. Great. So I'll carry on showing my non-touch version. Great. Just gonna bring some side bending to my spine and my ribs. So just feeling a gentle sway here if that feels good. Or you can rub along the side of the spine through the ribs, like Elisa is showing. If you prefer more stationary stretching or more passive stretching where we're not moving constantly, but still lengthening, breathing, you can find a position here to move through. And if you'd like more active stretching, which is continuous movement, I'm going to sway side to side or rubbing along that area of the ribs on the side body. And I'm going to move this motion into a forward back sway for my spine. Just finding a gentle motion that comes forward to the back, like a piece of seaweed or a blade of grass. You can also choose to massage along the spine with your hands. And using the breath support you, or you're welcome to just continuously find contractions and extensions here. And then moving this down into the lower half of the body. We're gonna bring some awareness to the legs. I'm just gonna do some gentle sliding, extension of the leg, or rubbing along the leg with the Lisa showing. Just a gentle stretching and release. And if it feels good to do some opening of the hip joints, just moving the leg. And then open and close the rotation. And if it's available in your body, you can bring your leg up and cross it or do as Elise is doing with holding of the leg to create circles in the hip joint. And here in this position, I invite flexing and pointing of the toes and the ankle circles. Or foot massage that you may like to do. And then I'm gonna let that go. And on the other side, I'm gonna bring that leg over and across if that's available. Flexing and pointing the ankle, and the foot, circles. You can keep the foot on the floor as well, like Elisa is showing. And just find alternative flexing and pointing with the foot on the ground, rolling the ankle. Great. And then finding a place that's feeling grounded for you again. Reach up overhead or just lift the heart space up. Slide that out. Breathing in and sighing that out. And breathing in and sighing out. I invite you to close your eyes if that feels comfortable. Grounding the feet into the floor, the sits bones. Noticing the sensation from the tip top of the head down into the feet. Bringing an awareness to the entire body. Noticing any sensations that are present. And I invite an awareness of breath to begin up in the head space and the crown of the head, 
filling the head with air of breath, letting it move out and expand beyond into the sky and releasing this breath, allow it to cascade down and into the body, moving the breath through the shoulders, this breath, sensation into the arms and trickling down all the way into the hands, breathing out through the tips of the fingertips, just sending that awareness out beyond the body into the space surrounding you, expanding your sense of self in this space you're inhabiting. Breathing in and breathing out, allowing the breath to flow along the spine and the chest cavity, the heart space, between the shoulder blades and the rib cage, down the torso, feeling the movement of breath in the low belly, moving into the pelvis, the hips, filling the breath, and the awareness down the thighs and around the knees, sending this down the shins and the calves until the breath awareness is pooling in the soles of the feet, allowing this breath to move out from the soles of the feet into the earth beneath you. Releasing anything you do not need with that breath. And inviting fresh renewal of breath with each in-breath and release with each out-breath. And I invite an awareness of the complete body in this sense of breath from the sky above the head moving through the body and out the soles of the feet. An awareness of the entire self and the breath filling the entire body. When you're ready, without looking at the screen, I invite you to open your eyes or sharpen your focus. Taking a look around the space that you're in. Noticing any final sensations, lights or sounds, textures, scents. And when you're ready, coming back to this shared space. Thank you all so much for joining us here today. It's been such a joy to get to dance together in a new way than we have been in other classes. Technology is incredible to offer us the gift of shared movement across the world, uh, but it's been very lovely to share the movement with you all from the same space today. Yeah, really lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so thank you for joining us today, and we hope to see you live in one of our live sessions. So we'll be live next Wednesday um, at the usual time. And um, two, again, two weeks after that. Um, yeah, and we hope you have wonderful days and evenings and yeah, go peacefully into your day and see you next time. Bye.